the holder of the storm. In any city, in any country, make your way to any boating dock you can get yourself to. When you reach the end of the dock, where it meets the water, take a deep breath and belt out with much gusto. I seek the holder of the storm. If done proudly enough, the once calm waters will now turn choppy. The once blue sky will now turn black. Rain falling from every direction. Lightning bolts crashing around. Do not be afraid, for if you show the slightest amount of fear, each bolt of lightning that was once striking around you will form together and strike you down. If you manage to not show fear, after what seems like an eternity, a set of stairs will appear, leading up. Follow the stairs until you reach a hallway. The hallway is very dimly lit. Begin to walk down the hallway until you reach the fifth door on your left. Open it slowly, but do not enter. If opened slow enough, a light should appear, and in the distance you should see a figure standing with his back facing you. If the light does not go on, again with as much pride and gusto, yell, I wish only to speak and learn. However, should the light not go on, well, let's just say you're gonna want to try and run for another door, for the fate you meet in there would be like a heaven compared to the fate you'd meet in the room in front of you. Now, if the light should go on, slowly walk towards the apparent man. From all around you, you'll hear sharp cries and screams. Don't let this noise instill fear into you. Keep going until you reach the man. Without touching him, lean into his left ear and whisper softly, What happens when the light dies out? If spoken with enough pride, the man will turn around, placing his hand upon your right shoulder, and explain in horrific detail about all the times the darkness has prevailed. If you manage to keep your sanity, the man will remove his hood with his free hand, revealing his demonic-like face. Do not scream. If you manage not to scream, he will softly place something in your dominant hand. Do not look upon the object yet. He will then place his left hand on your forehead. You will feel a warm sensation fill your body. The once white room you were standing in is now all distorted. When you open your eyes, you will be back on the dock where you stood. The waters and skies will be calm. Now you may look upon the object in your hand. The crystal object is number 540 out of 540. You must forever keep this crystal as long as you hold it. The light 